Hey guys, Robert from Force Performance here, and I'm going to talk about T3 exhaust housings right now. What I've got in my hand is two examples of the T3 exhaust housing. Uh, this is a Garrett 35R T3 exhaust housing, very common, very useful. A lot of y'all familiar with this. This is a new product that we're releasing. It's called a KT3 turbine housing. Very similar in appearance uh, and uh, interchangeable, flange compatible. One of the things you want to know about exhaust housings is, uh, is the AR, the, uh, the Garrett, is an 82. The KT3 is an 85. Virtually the same AR. Virtually the same AR. AR is a number that represents the angle that the air is at relative to the turbine wheel when it enters the turbine wheel. So it, it, it's a very useful parameter for discussing uh, when the turbine wheel will begin to accelerate. You can see from these two numbers, the AR ratios on both housings are virtually the same. What's not the same on the two turbos is the area and the, and the radius that the area is uh, centroided on. For the Garrett, the area is about 10 centimeters squared. For the KT3, it's 12 centimeters. The area for the, uh, for the T3 is a little bit smaller, so less than the KT3, which is greater. This, this increasing the radius and increasing the area allows for maintaining the AR, maintaining the spool rate, but increasing choke flow. When you have a 2 centimeter increase in nozzle area in the turbine housing, you have a 20% increase in max choke flow through the housing. This vastly extends the power range of the housing, okay? You can't take the T3 housing and run out to 1,000 horsepower. The KT3 housing, you can. This is useful all the way up to Super 99s, which are generating 1,000 horsepower. And as I see, as you can hold them both up together, you can see that the KT3 housing is a larger radius volume. 20% larger choke flow area means 20% more flow in your 8,000 and 9,000 RPM band. If you're a four-cylinder drag race guy, this means your fourth gear pulls like it didn't used to pull. That's a little bit about turbine housings. Boost on.